All right, continuing on, continuing on, number two, the brass object with 0.25 grid spacing. Hopefully on Venner you did this already. You will change this to brass. So now we're changing material. Oh, crazy. I picked yellow randomly and there's brass soft yellow. It's brass soft yellow, but change the color to red because the color is just the color you are painting the brass. Do your activity. Show your hand calculations. This, that, or the other. We'll now go to hit the I button for I properties. Hit physical. And then when you hit update, it should give you your answers for density in grams per centimeter cubed, the mass of it in English units, pound mass, surface area, how much square feet inches you painted, and the volume. So, make sure you show your hand calculations and confirm your hand calculations by modeling it correctly and the eye properties button. Moving on to number, part number three. Moving on to isometric drawing of the high density polyethylene object. Problem number three, which is this guy. Here are your hints. We're going to sketch a full block in the metric standard IPT. You sketch the first triangle, second triangle, and then you hit loft, and it's a loft cut. So let's see if we can make this happen. New standard IPT. Make sure you count the dimensions of the total height, width, and depth of the block. Each grid space is a centimeter. So create 2D sketch. Go here. Oh. That was incorrect. When you create a new IPT for this one, you need to go to metric, standard, MM IPT. So each grid space is one centimeter, or each grid space is 10 millimeters. Make sure you understand that. Create 2D sketch over here. Sketch a rectangle up and to the right. This is nine centimeters in the X wide, so that is 90 millimeters. Tab, five centimeters is 50 millimeters, which you understand. 90, 50, hit finish sketch, hit the home. Oh, of course, it does this, this is great. Let's hit undo, let's hit undo, let's hit undo. Okay, we're at the beginning. Hit the plus sign on origin, okay? We'll create a 2D sketch on the XY plane. Do it again. Rectangle, 90, tab, 50. Finish sketch. I want you to hit this corner here where you, it's front, right, and top, the way we like it. We're going to right click the home button, set current view as home, fit to view. So now when you're lost in outer space, you should go back to this. We will extrude in the Z. Not 10 millimeters, but I believe it's 40 millimeters. Change the color to something nice. Uh, pink for now. Okay, now we need to create two 2D sketches. Okay, we'll try and create these two triangles, one on the front, one on the back, and then loft cut 
the shape away. It is not an extrude. It is a loft cut between two sketches. A create 2D sketch here. You need to create a line along the yellow line, like so. And then from here to here, and then here to here. Okay? Now, we need to dimension this. To here is not that. I believe it is 10. From this end point to here, it is not that much. It is 10. From here to here, it is not that much. I believe it is 10. From this point to this point, midway between 90 is 45. That is fully constrained. You need a three-sided blue triangle here. Hit finish sketch. You'll repeat the process on the back. Create 2D sketch on the back. You need a three-sided triangle by creating a line. Right now, you're just estimating where this triangle is. Line there, line here to here. It is okay if it is incorrect now, because you will dimension from here to here is not that. It is 20. This end point to this corner is not that much. It should be 20. From the top edge to this point is not 18. It should be 20. Halfway in between this end point to this side is not that much. It's 45. Now you should be fully constrained with two triangles. Hit the front. We will now do loft. You need a closed three-sided triangle on both sides. Notice how the front triangle is bigger than the back. This is a loft. Oh, here. Okay, here, here's the trick. You do loft. You got to click on the outer triangle, and then you click on the shape. Then you're lofting to this. Click to add. And you're adding this sketch. I'll try it one more time. This, that triangle, but we are cutting select the sketch to add. We want this one to there. Hit OK. It should remove the big triangle to the front triangle using a loft. Now, change the material. Loft is very difficult. Your clicking sequence must be good. We are high density polyethylene. High density. Hopefully you can find it in here. Or polyethylene, high density. Boom. That is the material. You should probably save this part as 5.6. Five point six high dense high dense poly last name. Now the color doesn't matter, but the material does. When you click the I button for I properties, you click on properties, physical properties, physical tab. You have nothing. You have to update it. This gives you the mass of this part, the density and metric. The mass in kg, surface area in millimeter squared, the volume in millimeter squared. Check your hand calculations with the eye properties. And then on your document, hopefully you have all the answers to your MLA heading document to all these questions, figure two, one through seven. High-density polyethylene, figure three, questions one through one through five. You will do your physical property analysis, your puzzle cube. 
on your MLA document. Then you do the conclusion questions. Okay, and then you upload this to myPLTW.org. Physical properties. It is hitting this I button on a part. I properties here. Physical tab. You could change the material to whatever you want. Pretend this is made of aluminum. Oops. Or plastic. You hit update. The number should change. But we are on polyethylene. High density. Barrier. Numbers. Apply. Hit close. You should hit save. Loft. Loft is a tough skill. You need two sketches, fully constrained, and it is how you click. The order of how you click is important. Have a good time. Thanks for the guys. <coughs>